Hi, it's Bob with Top Choice Real Estate and the Living in Indiana team bringing the word on the street talking Indiana real estate. Today we're in the popular River Run neighborhood on Indy's far southwest side. I'm standing in front of 5377 Dollar Forge Court. This is a nice cul-de-sac location. And we're going to tour this uh, classic two-story with lots of new upgrades. And then stick around to the end. I'm going to share a current market update so that you can have uh, greater success in your real estate endeavors. Hey, let's go take a look. Okay, stepping inside, we've got a nice wide foyer here. Right to the right is a powder room. Coming down the hall. Got a good sized coat closet. And then you're into the main gathering area. Open concept. Dog's gonna help us out today, but uh, got a good view of everything here in the uh, family room. It's uh, plenty big enough for uh, good sized furniture. There's a good sized TV on the wall and there's still plenty of room for photos and prints and that type of thing. Uh, you've got a good dining room space here, or dining area space tied into the kitchen. Nice stainless steel refrigerator with French doors, bottom freezer. This one is only a year old. Uh, stainless steel appliances, microwave, electric range and oven, dishwasher, the deep sink. You've got a nice kitchen island with uh, overhang for stools. Looking out back, you've got a fully fenced backyard with um, privacy fence. And we have a dog that's trying to help us. Okay. Hey, you can grill right here. You can bring it right into your dining room table or to your kitchen counter to work on. Got some new light fixtures here. Oh, tucked over here. Got the entryway to the garage and a good size pantry. Okay, we'll take a ride upstairs. Carpeted stairway so that uh, cuts the noise down. You got a window at the top here, which is nice, lets in a lot of light. Got a uh, practically brand new washer and dryer that goes with it. Loft space here. Use it as an office, playroom. Uh, if I've seen exercise equipment up here. Uh, just an extra place to kick back on. The hallway here, which is wide, you got a linen closet, one bedroom, second bedroom, hall bathroom with a fiberglass tub and shower, and then we're into the master. Pretty good size. Holds a couple chests of drawers, big bed, it's good lights. Bathroom has, master bathroom has a uh, double vanity. It's got a uh, fiberglass tub and shower unit and a pretty good size walk-in closet. So, pretty nice uh, master ensuite here. Okay, the ticket on this uh, classic two-story with uh, a bunch of recent upgrades, including new appliances, is $269. If you'd like a private tour, just give me a quick call or text in the comments below and uh, we'll set it up for you. Hey, you make it a great day now. So if you're considering moving here, you're gonna wanna pick up our relocation guide. It's free and there's no obligation. My staff and I have prepared the ultimate relocation guide and you can get your copy below. Hey, if you've got a home to sell, this uh, next chapter is guaranteed to uh, make you money or to save you money or both. But if you have no home to sell to uh, buy the, your next new home, then uh, feel free to skip ahead to one of the next chapters that you haven't yet seen. Okay, if you're undecided about whether you need to buy or sell first, this is not my first rodeo. I'll be glad to talk and share the pros and cons of going one direction or the other, and then you can be the judge for your own self about what works best for your own personal situation. By the way, we offer a free room-by-room -room analysis. There's no cost and there's no obligation. And I guarantee you, 
that I can help make you money and I can help save you money. My staff and I prepared a short video film about this. It highlights 13 key points that you'll wanna pay attention to because they'll help you sell your home for more money. Plus, I'll share secrets on how I sold my last five homes in a grand total of less than 30 days. Hey there, over the years I've worn lots of hats in the real estate industry. So today I'm gonna to share in this video what they were, what I've done, and most importantly, how that can benefit you. Hey, I bought my first house while I was still in college. So yes, I've been a first time home buyer. And if you are a first time home buyer, I know what that feels like and I've made systems that help so that you come to learn what is going to happen next so that it takes some of that anxiety out of the whole transaction and makes it a lot more enjoyable experience. Hey, six months later, I bought my first duplex and fixed it up. What a learning curve that was. I can remember we were in the kitchen and we were uh, hooking up the gas range. It's the first time I'd ever done this, okay? And all of a sudden we had flames and my buddy grabs a bucket of really nasty water that we'd use to clean the floor and he throws it over on me and oh God. Now, hey, these years later, I, I ran the uh, gas lines for my entire house and for my barn put in the furnace, water heaters, everything, okay? So I learned something new every day and I still do. That work led to being a contractor. You know, we were those guys that had uh, the sign on their truck, you know, like no job too big or too small. The biggest job we ever did was we uh, rehabbed a 42 unit apartment project. I mean, we didn't take it to the studs, but it was pretty darn close. The most interesting job we ever did was we lifted a house up off the foundation, tore out the basement walls, then relayed all the basement walls and set the house back down on the foundation. Hey, because of that kind of experience, I can walk through a house with you and I can point out opportunities and I can answer your questions about, can we open up this wall or can we, whatever the case might be. Hey, and when it's all said and done, I know a guy that can do all those things that you might want done. And you know what? They do good work, they're reliable and they're affordable. The next hat I wore was property manager. It had something like 500 tenants I was responsible for. And so today I'm an affiliate, or my company is an affiliate of the Key Renter Indianapolis North franchise. And so we can help you with all of your property management needs if you're wanting to buy a house for an investment purpose. This led to me being a builder of single family homes, apartments, condominiums. So when it comes to new construction, it wouldn't be my first rodeo which means to you, I can be a difference maker for your benefit. Too many people have bad experiences with builders. I can put my experience to work for you, facilitating successful outcomes with new construction homes. It was kind of a natural outgrowth from builder to developer, and I oversaw the engineering and the state highway cuts and putting down new streets and sewer lines and water lines, building in all kinds of weather, all kinds of building sites. Remember one down in Brown County, we were literally hanging off the hillside, uh, putting up uh, siding in about 40 uh, mile an hour winds. Wasn't a lot of fun, but we got it done. Hey, I've also done planning and zoning work is my development process, and I do that for clients now. And that's something that can come in real handy when people are buying ground or wanna build their own house on their own piece of ground. I did a little work way back in the day as a home inspector, which means to you I can drill down into the reports and I can work for the best outcome for you under the circumstances. For several years, I was an appraiser, conventional FHA, VA. Again, I know the drill. I know how to read the report and I know what can be done about it, which means that you have a greater likelihood of the deal closing. For 17 years, I was a mortgage lender. In fact, I grew a mortgage broker to become the second largest mortgage broker in the state that year. I know the ropes and can at times make you aware of opportunities that will literally make dreams possible in your specific situation. As a mortgage lender, one of my specialties was construction lending, including rehab financing. I can help turn a house with good bones into the home you want before you even move into it. Or I can help you to build your dream home on your own piece of ground. About 15 years ago, I worked as a commercial real estate due diligence inspector across the United States and Canada for the great uh, large Wall Street banks and investment firms. I worked all the way from Calgary to Charleston and from Toronto to Biloxi. Um, I did about 500 properties a year and this was everything from multifamily apartment projects to factories 
huge distribution centers, grocery stores, restaurants, hospitals, doctor's offices, retirement homes, high-rise office buildings. Hey, I got those assignments because I could walk into any market in the entire continent and come up with recommendations for these large investment firms uh, so that they could get the best value out of their properties. So, hey, if they trusted me to do that, I hope you will trust me with your situation too. Throughout my entire career, just about, I've been a licensed realtor, both here and in, and in Colorado. And I've worn a lot of hats. In fact, it's hard to find a realtor who has the depth of experience that I do. All in all, I've played a role in something like 5,000 successful transactions, which means to you, you have a high likelihood you will achieve success. So before you sign on with your brother-in-law's third cousin because she's family, Consider if you really want to put the uh, largest financial transaction of your life in the hands of, well, your brother-in-law's third cousin who just got their license. Bottom line, there are good reasons why 50% of my business is repeat business and another 25% is referral. My clients tell me I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now. Coming up is my latest monthly market update with actionable data to fuel your real estate success. The numbers are in for April for the greater Indianapolis housing market. The median sales price has bounced back to its high of 300,000. Sales and new listings were both up, which, hey, considering the time of year, that's really not a whole lot of surprise, although they are better than a year ago this time. All that caused sales to be a tad lower. Last year, they were running on median about six days. Today, they're all the way up to eight days. Not sure that makes a whole lot of difference. Sales are going off at 1% under list on average, and the active inventory has increased to 3,016 homes. And everyone appreciates whatever loosening there is in the market. Over in Hamilton County, there's a somewhat similar pattern. Although prices haven't reached back to their peak, uh, they are settling at about 441,000 on average. Both sales and listings were up substantially, like 13 and 16% respectively. And the median days on market is just six days, which means good houses are selling fast. The average home is going off at list price and inventory remains tight. Hey, so what can you do about tight inventory? What I say is, be like a Boy Scout, be prepared. Builders are offering rates as low as 4.99% on a 30-year fixed rate. And I've seen banks uh, offering closing cost grants of $5,000, which means they don't have to be repaid. And I've even seen some sellers of existing homes doing the same. And I know of a couple banks that are offering 100% financing with no mortgage insurance. Hey, and if you have a down payment, you still might want to consider going that route and then taking those funds and paying off whatever installment loans and car loans and trucks and boats and planes and all your credit cards and student loans or whatever you might have, it just might work. Hey, to learn how you can take advantage of any of these strategies, hit me up below, give me a quick call or text and make it a great day. Hey, if you'd like to know everything there is to know about moving to or living in the greater Indianapolis area, then be sure to tune in every Tuesday as we do our tour of new construction homes for sale. Then on Thursday, we walk through existing homes for sale. And then on the weekend, we take a look at what it's like to actually live in Indiana. Now keep in mind, whether you're buying or selling, I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now. If you found this helpful, you'll love this next video. Watch this one right now.